those are important. Yeah, definitely super important. Because like that that downer is good like around like 80 ish percent. Because then you can combo it into a clap and hopefully like you know get them on that. Mm -hmm. But like once they're at like 110 ish, you should be able to like choose which side and try to mix up their di like run between them and then up special. Anyway, we're going on to this one though, and this is a Forest Burn Orcane matchup. Yeah. Um, lots of bubbles yeah, coming out. Yeah, lots of walling with the bubbles. Yo, what's up, Spook? <laughs> How you doing, man? But yeah, lots of bubbles. Lots and lots of bubbles. Looks like it's making it a little difficult for Bassy to get him, but he managed, yeah. managed to find his way in there. Um, so bubbles are very parryable. But then they're not at the same time because they're like RNG, but you can you can parry them on reaction. Right. Um, so a bossy just needs to show that he can parry them, so that way there'll be less of a yeah. barrage, you know? He has to be more careful about where he sends them. Yep, exactly. Oh! oh. Miss parry. The breadstick just, uh, just on him on that forward strong. Yeah. Ooh, get the uh, down air on recovery, though. Lots of spike down airs. And... When I was a Ford's remain, mm -hmm. I actually hated spike down airs on stage at this percent because there's like, if they DI it right, you just can't, you can't follow up on it. Yeah, and they just tech away and make it super difficult. Yeah, exactly. Wait, you're moving to AZ? What the hell? Please tell me you're not joking, because uh, if you're moving to AZ, I will. Uh oh, well, I hate you. Where are you moving to? Somewhere else in Colorado, I'm guessing. Uh, uh no puddle. No yeah. puddle. I think if he side specialed, he might have been able to clip over the stage, but it was kind of like tried a... to orca hop, but that's... Yeah. Difficult. Uh, I, I don't think he had his double jump left, so he oh, couldn't okay. orca hop, but uh, the side special might have worked. Yeah, I don't know, man. Doesn't work if you don't try. Exactly. And Abasi just kind of lapping him in percents here, and you see him... Standing on the edge of the screen, not afraid to just kind of play yeah. it safe. Breadstick Give up stage to control. Get this kill to stand a chance. Oh, Bradford went for something super cheeky there. Yeah, the puddle in place. Yeah, it's always a favorite of mine. Old Perry, see if he can get a punish off of here. So, fun fact: I used to main both of these characters. <laughs> You're right. That is funny. And uh, both of them are well. One of them's dead to me. The other one's Forsburn. Because <laughs> like. Even when I practice, I don't see Orcane on the on the character select screen. Ooh. It's like there's like a black, re like repressed area. Yeah, it's like who is that? I've yeah, never, I've never seen that guy before. I love that slippery bastard, but I just don't use him anymore. And like I never think of using him either. So yeah, so Abasi takes that game. You must one. be well versed in this matchup since you used to main both of them. Um, in the matchup, kind of. I played a lot of uh, Forsburn versus uh, Orcane. At Smash and Splash with Dolphin Brick because he was in my he was in my right, hotel room, right. and so we got a lot of that. Um, my understanding is that Forsburn kind of kind of crushes this matchup super hard. Mm, um, he does a really good job of edge guarding Arcane, and also just his his neutral just oh. destroys Arcane too. Oh no, SD from Fred that was Stick. like immediate SD, yeah. at like zero percent, but. Redstick got this. He's a good player. He can, oh, yeah. He can bring this back. That can be always a little demoralizing at the beginning of a game, but I've seen people come back from worse, honestly. Oh, yeah, definitely. Almost died from that DI, but he made it back. Ooh. Ooh. Well, there you go, Redstick. That's cool, Spook. Um, you moving out there for college or what? So, yeah. I mean, he's got a pretty big d percent deficit, but he got that stock off of Bossy, so now it's very doable. Yeah. I mean, definitely. it just takes one or two neutral bouts, and then you're back in this, you know? Mm -hmm. And Orkane's pretty good at racking up damage, so. That back air hurt my soul. Making it real hard for Breadstick to recover. Yeah, that was a really good clone by a Bossy, because uh, he threw out that clone on the platform so he could jump out there while right. he could still cover uh, the Orkane puddle. And. Also, good stuff to Breadstick for recognizing that, like, that wasn't the real Abasi in there. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about in terms of just, like, edge guarding in general. It takes away any chance of getting that uh, puddle recovery, even if it's really, like, far on the other side of the stage. Right. It's just because you can clone he the stage. He always has the option. Exactly. Oh. 
Down air? No. And Breadstick looks like he, he's kind of understanding like what he needs to do. It's just kind of that SD just killed him, you know? Yeah. It's Living little, that, though. A little too late. Oh. Barely whiffed an up air. Ooh. Back air. DI'd in on the dash attack. Yeah. That'll do it. Uh, Abazi takes that 2-0. GG, boys. Not looking bad, though, honestly. I mean, there was a... Uh,